working on this Del DeLorean today. Uh, I know, 88 miles an hour, back to the future, blah, blah, whatever. Uh, cocaine deals, right? The whole thing, right? Anyway, uh, if you don't know the history of these cars, there's some great videos out there. Net Netflix has a, a documentary about uh, John DeLorean. Interesting character, that's for sure. Uh, so basically, a DeLorean, uh, it, um, it, it was made overseas. Basically, he needed the funding. Hey, let's check out the engine. Pretty cool. Okay, right. It's in the back. It's a, it's a frunk. Anyway, uh, ignore all the mess that's going on here. This was, uh, had a fuel pump issue, which is super common on these bad boys. Uh, they got redesigns and see it's got a little module box. I just kind of temporarily wired it. Uh, I don't have the wire nuts on there yet. I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't, I don't work that way. I just like joking. Anyway, um, it'll be all soldered and nice and tucked and blah, 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 blah. So, uh, got it running though. Pretty stoked. Uh, so DeLorean Motor Company. Yeah. Check that out. What? Got the wing doors. All right. The Lambo doors. Right. Even though, anyway, uh, I want to show you some features. It's kind of cool. There's your battery. Uh, of course, normally it's not flopping around like that. Uh, it'll be nice and tucked and all that. Uh, I think it's a five speed. Uh, I don't know. Probably five speed. Maybe six speed. I don't know. Okay, I'll stop being lazy and I'll actually look at the knob. It is a five speed. Yep. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of cool. You know, this one's not in bad shape. Um, uh, I actually like the wheels. They're kind of cool. It's got the uh, nice little hatch there. So the engine is a DeLorean Motor Company, which is a uh, uh, merge with Fuchsot, Fu whatever the hell, I know, I screwed that up, Volvo, and, um, oh my gosh, what's the other one? There's, it's it's early morning. Uh, uh, Volvo, Fuchsot, and um, Renault. Thank you. Okay, anyway. So, so I'm going to keep my finger out of the camera. I think I'm going to get a little stand to hold the camera. Uh, customer wants me to work on the AC as well. Now that I got it running, that makes it a lot easier. It's got mechanical fuel injection. Uh, those hoses are prone to, to fail, aka uh, campfire. Uh, yeah, they catch on fire. Uh, got your air, air intake over there. Well, down there. It's kind of cool. A little V6 power. You know, it runs good. Uh, can't really complain. You're not going to be a drag strip star, but. You'll definitely be a rock star and super cool in this thing. Uh, here, let me, actually, I'm going to lower this back so you can kind of see, see what it uh, looks like. The, uh, it's got a couple of, it's got this initial cover for the engine. Looks pretty rad, right? And then it's got this second cover that goes down. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Got those louvers. It definitely screams hello 70s, right? Uh, let's take a look inside. Uh, it's pretty basic. Uh, I wish it had tilt. I'm six foot one. And I kind of just roll over into it. Uh, look at the instrument setup. I don't know if that's a factory stereo. It's probably not. It might be. Uh, Craig, uh, I don't know, pretty popular at one time. The uh, gauge customer, cut customer cluster. Wow, I need to, I need more coffee. Um, uh, it's pretty cool look and it's a nice layout I guess it's got hundred and three thousand miles you know just broke in so yeah the dash is actually good well ignore the steering wheel I say oh look how nice it is it's all chewed up looks like a dog chewed on it actually it's not bad it looks worse when you zoom in on it just like just about anything uh, dash is in good shape pretty nice not a bad layout you definitely feel like you're driving some kind of exotic machine uh, yeah it's I mean it is you know it's got these little buttons, push, push. I'm afraid to push them because they'll probably break. You know, it's old brittle plastic. You know, that's that's what that's what old brittle plastic does. It breaks. That's uh, that's its job, and it does it well. Anyway, I just thought I'd share this uh, DeLorean with you. All stainless steel body. I'm horrified in keeping it clean. If you touch it, you can see a handprint immediately. So you've got to be very cautious. Uh, our conscientious you got to be aware of what the hell you're doing definitely don't want to dent it because uh that could uh, open a world of uh just wow you already know 
so uh, it's not like you can take it to Mako or, you know, if you dent it, uh, horrifying. That's just a horrifying thought. Anyway, I just thought I'd share this car with you. It's such a neat car. Uh, I should have read a few, uh, some research on it. I think it was from 1981 to 1983 was the last year of production. Uh, so John DeLorean, basically, he, uh, I think he worked for, I don't know, uh, he worked for Chevrolet, might have worked with Chrysler, um, uh, he was a pretty big uh, honcho, and this was kind of his dream car, you know. Uh, uh, you know, but but what it takes to do this and to build it, wow, you got to be you got to be something, you know. Uh, he basically had to go overseas. I can't think of the name of the country. It was a war war torn country at the time, but the government agreed to give him a boatload of money to bring new jobs to the country, which was really cool. The uh, the factory workers actually really loved working there. They really did. They took a lot of pride. They, I mean, they were, you know, when, when John DeLorean got arrested uh, with that, uh, basically he got hooked up with some guy that was an informant. Uh, uh, and he basically, to me, in my mind, they set him up. I mean, he was, he, he believed in his dream so much to, to a flaw. You know, he, he believed in it. He wanted the car to be. And this guy says, hey, I can get the money for you. Just give me X amount. And then, We'll turn that into blah, blah. I think he kind of knew, but he was so, so focused on making this happen. Unfortunately, um, he he did uh, involve himself in some uh, illegal activity. Uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, his daughter, uh, I don't know her name. I'm sorry. Uh, she, um, she, you know, she kind of embraces it, you know, uh, his adopted son, uh, he's a, he's a character. I like him, man. He's a, he's a, but he's not real, uh, you know, like, uh, there wasn't a lot of good memories from this car. You know, this car represented his dad going to prison. Uh, it represented his life from this life of luxury. I mean, just really decadent, you know, nice life, good life, good home, best of the best, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then when he got arrested, his dad got arrested suddenly complete chaos and it totally uh broke that uh it ruined his world man uh so he's i'm not gonna say jaded jaded's not the word i mean rightfully so i mean he's freaking traumatized you know uh geez you know wouldn't you i mean you, you got this great life you everything's you know nice house nice family and all of a sudden uh now the reputation is drug dealer uh you know, just, just, uh, heartbreaking, really heartbreaking. Poor guy. Uh, I mean, of course, I'm sure if he heard me say that, he'd be like, you know, don't, yeah, F you, you know, I don't know. Uh, which is fine. I, I, I <laughs> I'd say, okay, <laughs> you know, um, but, uh, what a story. Anyway, Netflix has a great documentary on it. You got to watch it. I don't know the name of do the documentary, but just look it up. And if you love these cars, I think they're cool. They're, I think they're, they're, they're so unique, you know? Uh, and what a story behind it. So, uh, what a time capsule, you know, in, in a moment in history. Anyway, I just thought I'd share it with you just because I like, um, for all five of my subscri <laughs> subscribers, I like to share different content. This is where you put the gas in. At least I hope it is. Right? Fill it with radiator fluid, right? Uh, anyway. Um, uh, but uh, I just like sharing different content because I do have exposure to different uh different vehicles uh and i like just sharing just a, a diversity of stuff you want to watch hopefully you like it uh i just think it's kind of neat so hope you enjoyed it uh it's this is uh the delorean okay